My name is Joji and Brony, and this is my retina. The other one is similar. It makes my vision like this. It's an impairment, and so I can't drive a motor vehicle. I blow up images on the computer to get the info, but still I get headaches from the vitrectomy operations that damage the retinas permanently. It's a needles in the eye thing. But there's another disability which has affected me almost as much, and a lot of you as well. The national disability. This disease was set into overdrive on September 11, 2001, the quote, New Pearl Harbor. And it has derailed a lot of lives around the world and diverted a lot of attention from other pursuits. I like to make films and movies, be a rockish star, write the great American novel that actually sells. But it irks me that the government has lied repeatedly and covered up the true nature of the 9-11 attacks and many other significant events. And that they get away with it through mass brainwashing and a complicit propagandistic media. Now none of this is new, of course. These are old formulas, repackaged, and it works. You can fool most of the people most of the time. They apparently like to be fooled. War is a good business, if you're in that business. The motives for humanity's great malaise run deeper and are more varied than simple profit. But let's not forget a certain reality. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwanted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. Persist? The military-industrial complex owns all candidates, all major parties. It is the vampire from outer space meets a plague of Godzillas. It's not just me, either. Ask a few people. They'll tell ya. Well, I don't agree with illegal wars at all. I don't think our country should be involved in illegal wars. There's a national disability imposed on us by immoral criminal plutocrats, and I wish there was a cure. To give another name to the national disability, call it imperialism. Empires typically expand beyond the ability of the original nation to sustain them, and then they collapse. Check the financial pages. Instability devalued money, unsustainable systems. Empires also murder a great number of innocent people in the process. It is for them I rant. If eternal vigilance is the price of liberty, ours is history. Hopefully, you see that we live with a national disability that is quite real even if corporate, shill, stiff-haired mouthpieces don't phrase it so bluntly. Newscasters exist to sell you to advertisers. What comes out of their mouths is incidental. Should we settle for this national disability? Would we just admit defeat to a personal disability? The metaphor works. Think about it. Thanks for listening.